Hello. Today you are reading page 12, and only page 12, and then answering the questions. It is only one page because you're answering three short answers, and then you're getting ready for your discussion question. If we look at your first question, the text says that in Blue Creek, there are more varieties of living things than perhaps any other place on earth. What does the word varieties mean in this text? What details from the first paragraph on page 12 support this statement? I see it says first paragraph, so I know where I'm looking, and the word varieties is what I'm looking for. What could varieties mean? If I look around that word in the first paragraph, I can come up with some really great context clues to help me figure out that word, and those context clues I can use as my details. Remember that you need to have your claim, your answer to the question, then you need to have your evidence, and then explain, and another piece of evidence, and explain, and a conclusion. To do this, you need to really look at how many lines you have, and how small you need to write, as well as how many words from the text that you are choosing. So you don't want to pick very long sentences when maybe from that sentence you only need about six to ten words to get the point across. Number two, according to the second paragraph, what types of animals live in the Blue Creek Rainforest? Again, second paragraph, and it's asking for types of animals. You can do this very well. This one would not be so many explain, uh, explain. You can give me claim, telling me that there are many types that live there, and then give me your evidence. Do not forget a conclusion. This one will be simple. The third paragraph describes how, when a tree falls, new creatures move in and take over the altered habitat. What does the phrase altered habitats mean in the sentence? I'm looking in the third paragraph, and it tells me what does the phrase altered habitats mean. Use your context clues to figure out the meaning. If you are struggling, you are going to raise your hand. Remember to include evidence. Support your answer with evidence from the text. This one should be, oops. And then, end of discussion, is a full sentence telling me what? Telling me how does the author use language to paint a picture of the biodiversity of that rainforest. That's our lovely word again. If you have any questions, please raise your hand. Thank you.